Today, we are going to review the procedure to calibrate ADB's CCF and CHF ferroresonant constant current regulators. Equipment required includes a true RMS meter with current clamp, also a small non-conductive screwdriver or a calibration tool. Depending upon your installation, a short length of eight gauge cable to short the regulator output will be required, and the CCR may also alternately be shorted using the series cutout. Refer to manual 96A0288 for the CCF family of regulators, or manual 96A0408 for the CHF family of regulators. Controller board 44A6035 is used for control of both the ADB CCF and CHF regulators. The newer CSF regulator uses digital control board 44A7293 and is blue in color. Calibration of that board can be seen in another video. Before we begin the calibration, first a safety warning. Read the instructions in the manual in their entirety before starting calibration. Only personnel qualified to work on high voltage systems should attempt to make any adjustments on the constant current regulator. To shut down the CCR, set the rotary switch to the off position. Note that power to the output terminals is now off and the regulator cannot be energized by remote control signals. Power is still present on the input power terminals and on the internal control circuitry. If you want to totally remove input power, disengage the disconnect switch or external circuit breaker. Calibrate the CCR with no load present by shorting the regulator's output. This can be done using an SCO or S1 cutout to short the output. It can also be done by placing a short length of series circuit cable across the output. This will avoid the possibility of outputting a higher than normal current into the airfield lighting circuit. Next, attach a true RMS meter with current clamp around the series circuit wire. Since the output current of the regulator will not be a true sine wave, a true RMS meter must be used. Refer to the tables on screen for the nominal RMS output current levels for a three-step 6.6 amp regulator and a five-step 6.6 amp regulator. This screen shows the nominal RMS output current levels for a five-step 20 amp regulator. 20 amp regulators are manufactured only as five-step. Controller board 44A6035 is used for control of ADB CCF and CHF regulators. It uses a single potentiometer to adjust the current at the highest step, which is B5 for a five-step regulator or B100 for a three-step. The output current for the remaining steps is set automatically. Overcurrent protection is also performed automatically, so no further calibration is required. In order to calibrate the CCR, energize the regulator locally and set the rotary selector switch to the maximum brightness position. Next, you will adjust potentiometer R40 until you reach 6.6 amps plus or minus 0.1 amps or 20 amps on a 20 amp regulator as measured by the true RMS ammeter. When the output current adjustment has been completed, turn off the CCR. Set the series cutout to the normal operating position or remove the shorting cable on the CCR output if used. Then you want to reconnect the air field circuit and verify that the output current is correct for all steps. Next, turn the regulator on. So for example, we have a five-step regulator here and at B5, we want to see 6.6 .6 amps. B4 is 5.2 amps. B3 is 4.1, 4.2, 4.1, 4.2, 4.1, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2
B2 is 3.4, and B1 is 2.8 amps. Note that for a 20 amp regulator, the procedure is the same, except that the highest step will be adjusted for 20 amps. For the CCF and CHF regulators, no calibration is required for overcurrent protection. That is automatically taken care of when you adjust the regulator for the high setting. For additional information, please refer to the manual for your CCR, which is available on the ADB website at www.adb-air.com. You may also contact ADB customer service directly using the information shown on the screen. Thank you for your attention.